Hello there, I hope you're well. Do you know that whenever I prepare a sermon or a Christian talk, I'm really conscious that I'm doing that with the help of the Holy Spirit. And whenever I go to preach that sermon or to deliver that talk, I'm really conscious that I'm doing that with the help of God's Holy Spirit. And, and that means prayer is a really important part of that process. But there's something from when the words leave my lips to when they go into somebody's ears. There's something that is truly amazing that happens. And that's that the Holy Spirit then takes those words and then applies them to that person. Gives that person a message that is just for them. It's wonderful to hear feedback from lots of different people of what they've taken from a service and it's all different things. There could be a hundred people in the same room and they all would have taken something different from the same words that I had said. And that is the Holy Spirit that's, that's teaching them and and making connections in their mind and revealing to them stuff about the character of God. Also, hopefully, uh, checking what uh, I'm saying up the front and, and alerting them if there's anything suspicious. But it's a truly amazing thing that when we go to church on a Sunday or sit at home and watch the service, on a Sunday or, or listen to other talks that there is something just for us that God wants to tell us. In John's Gospel in chapter 14 Jesus says but the Holy uh, but the Helper the Holy Spirit whom the Father will send in my name he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all that I said to you. Isn't that a wonderful gift that we don't have to rely on human words and I don't have to rely on coming up with things myself, but the Holy Spirit will teach us all things. There's such a thing as listening with spiritual ears. You could, of course, just switch off. You could let the words flow over you. You could not engage. You could not uh, check what's said in your Bible. You could be distracted and think about other things. You could go on your phone. You could start to think ahead about what's for lunch or what you need to do that day. So there's a bit of a conscious effort involved. And so surely then, if we want to listen with spiritual, spiritual ears and to hear from the Holy Spirit, that message which is for us, then... Prayer is an important part of that process as well. So my challenge to you as Holy Week approaches is are you going to listen with spiritual ears? Are you going to engage and invite the Holy Spirit in to teach you new things and to help you see things afresh? Let's pray now. Heavenly Father, we are so privileged to know you and to have your Spirit live within us who teaches us all things and who gives us that relationship with you. Give us spiritual ears to hear that we might be thrilled by the message that you have for us, encouraged by it and challenged by it. In Jesus' name, Amen.